This video is brought to you by Lightspeed Zulu. Change your mind. So have you changed your mind about who has the world's best headset? Come by our tent outside Hangar B and see why Zulu's comfort, sound quality, and A&R is better than anything else you've ever tried. It also has Bluetooth connectivity and works with either battery or panel power. There's also a helicopter model. No other headset delivers the complete Zulu package. Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from AirVenture 2009 at Oshkosh. Lots of interesting developments here at the show. One of the most intriguing is this SR-22, which Teledon Continental flew up from its mobile headquarters. This airplane is equipped with a turbocharged 550. That's not a turbo normalized, but a turbocharged IO-550, which Continental hopes to release sometime next year. But one of the most interesting things is they flew it up from Mobile on 94UL. 94UL is a new fuel that's meant to replace 100 low edge, straight across the board replacement. Here's Steve Chatton to tell us about both those projects. Well, we have two basic intents. There's, it's a dual fold. One is to demonstrate and test unleaded fuel in a turbocharged modern aircraft. And the other is to have an, uh, offer an STC of a truly turbocharged aircraft uh, at, in the uh, Cirrus SR-22. The turbocharged aircraft really shines from about this altitude up. From you know, When you get to 8,000, you go up uh, from 8,000 to 12,000, you start to see your performance gains. From 12,000 to 18,000, you're continuing to gain performance. And you can uh, really gain all the way up through 25,000. Uh, you get uh, high true air speeds. We've seen as high for this aircraft at full power, true air speeds at high altitude of uh, 225 knots. We see practical cruise, lean of peak, uh, long distance cruise type true air speeds of uh, 195 to 200 knots. That's uh, that's more where the real customer is going to fly it. Uh, and now, right now, we're climbing through uh, 8,200 feet, 122 knots indicated, 145 knots true. So. And we are burning uh, 16,000 an hour. CHT is pretty good. Uh, the hottest to be about uh, 368 or so. Yeah, we got 368 on the hottest CHT. Settled out at best economy, and that's uh, this setup is uh, 31 inches, 2500 RPM, fuel flow is 16.7 on a true uh, 180 or so, 181. 181, yeah. And the hottest CHT uh, looks to be about 350, cool. coolest about 340. Beauties of the turbocharged aircraft, whether it's FADAC or uh, mechanically fuel injected, is that uh, it is very much a set and forget. There's no leaning for the descent, there's no changing anything, it's pretty much, if you set a power setting, set the mixture. Continental Motors has prepared a, a unique factory turbo offering for the Cirrus uh, product line. We've introduced a factory turbo that will be STC that will allow the 3,000 plus aircraft in the fleet an option when they hit TBO. Uh, many of those planes are coming up onto it or are close enough to TBO that we may be able to give them an engine that has higher horsepower and less weight than the traditional factory out of Cirrus offerings. A very good value for customers coming into uh, first engine exchange. Uh, this engine we d haven't priced out yet for the STC but will be very cost competitive against an overhaul option. Uh, we are taking orders now for this engine if anybody's interested in scheduling out. We anticipate having the STC through the certification process before year end. You can find out more about this project when it becomes available by logging on to Teledyne Continental's website at genuinecontinental.aero. This is Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb. Thanks for watching.